hey guys please excuse my voice in this video and my appearance I have a cold in the summertime and a menstrual and it just sucks to be me right now like I just feel horrible I'm just like so weak I can't do anything but thank God for the mailman because if it wasn't for him I would not be uppity right now if you would call this uppity I would probably be kind of suicidal because oh I just wanted some tea and I just want to be up under my mom that's how I feel right now but I'm an adult and need to act like an adult but I miss my mama um who is texting me so much oh anyway I just received my Ipsy glam bag and I did not peek um, this is my first Ipsy glam bag yay um, I didn't peek at it I just I went on Instagram I think yesterday and someone posted what they got and I caught a glimpse of the bag and um, I just like scrolled up I was like no I don't want to see it so um yeah just received this and I know that in my birch box my first birch box uh, video I was like I don't know about Ipsy but I feel like the things that I see on Ipsy is like things that I would really 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 want to try and really really want to buy because Ipsy has um what do you call it full size products they don't always send you uh sample products so yeah but they had me on a waiting list and i'm just like birch box i signed up for birch box and i got my first birch box right away so with ipsy i was just like i signed up for ipsy in april this is my first glam bag in june somebody need to get it together but um yeah so, I'll leave all the information for Ipsy and everything down below, but this is the bag for this month, which is June, and it, uh, it's just, I guess it's flowers? I, I don't know what the hell this is. It looks like leaves. To me, that looks like a pineapple. I don't know. But it says Rebecca Minkoff right here it says Rebecca Minkoff and then on the back it says for Ipsy and then on the back it's just same pattern and then I, nah, I don't know I don't like this bag it's just not appealing to me kind of ugly someone said it was the best bag yet I I think it's ugly bag but um let's see what's inside so the first thing that I picked up um, out of the bag is Skin Dimitri James Olive and Enzyme Cleanser Rich Balm Makeup Remover and Deep Cleansing Mask. Oh, that's interesting. It's a makeup remover and a deep cleansing mask. So I will give this a try and see if I could save some makeup removal wipes so this is what it looks like and as you can see there it is a two ounce bottle which in birch box this probably would have been less than one ounce <laughs> or a foil packet but I still love birch box I'm not gonna say bad things about birch box I love birch box speaking of which my birch box will be here tomorrow but I just didn't feel like this is my first Ipsy bag and I felt like it needed its own video. I didn't want to do the whole Ipsy versus Birchbox thing. So this says rich in olive oil, orange oil, and high tech enzymes. This extraordinary gentle cleanser melts off makeup, dirt, and grime as it digests dead cellular debris and eye makeup. It also doubles as a wrinkle softening mask. Okay, so it's just like you 
use it as a facial wash and then you rinse off but if you want it to give you the deep cleansing mask uh, uh you leave it on for five to ten minutes and then you remove it um so yeah i'm gonna try this when i get better of course but um oh it's yellow why did i do that i can't smell i'm sick but it's it's yellow and um it had a little safety seal on it so i'll try that and i guess i'll just come back to you guys and tell you guys what it smells like and what it did because i can't smell it right now the next thing that i see is dove pure care dry oil for hair nourishing hair treatment with african macadamia oil and it says use three to four drops on mid lengths to ends but it doesn't say what it's supposed to do it says hair treatment but then it doesn't say what it does it tells you how to use it but then it doesn't say what it does so i'm not sure if this is supposed to it's an oil so it's not supposed to moisturize your hair but is it supposed to seal your hair uh, from split ends is it supposed to take away from frizz or dryness like what does this do not much information on this product but I guess I'll try it out and tell you guys what I think of it um, for my natural hair so yeah um, got that and then I have here the Ofra universal eyebrow it doesn't say what color it is I'm guessing universal is the color but this is what it looks like it says Ofra eyebrow and then it says universal right there and then this is the color of it so oh it's one that you sharpen so it's a pencil um, see if I could swatch it. <laughs> okay, that's dark, so I'll try it and see how I like it. Um, the next thing is Shimmer Eyeliner by Nika K. Seriously, Ipsy, this is like a dollar. Okay, I get Nick K from my beauty supply store for a dollar. Uh, really? Nick K and Ipsy? This is the top, you guys. This, this is the top. And, and look how big the damn top is. Look how little the product is. Really, Ipsy and Nika K, like you, you can do better than this. Like the top could have been like up to here with the stick thing, a majiggy. All of this plastic had my hopes up. I'm thinking this is the the product bottle, and this was the top. I don't like this. Ooh, wait a minute. Okay, I don't like the packaging, but I like the liner. Oh, I'm getting it everywhere. That is the color of the liner. And let me see if I could swatch it a little better. Okay, that's it right there. That's pretty. I'm using my webcam, so excuse that. But this is a really pretty color, but I'm a little pissed off about the all that damn plastic they wasted look at that this is top what i bet you i could buy, find this in my um 99 cent store for a dollar i bet you that much sampling nick a okay. and then i have a nyx butter gloss here in creme brulee this is kind of light i don't know I don't know. I don't know about Ipsy this month. 
all the everybody else's stuff was nice the other months except for last month nobody liked their um bag last month Eh. I'm not sure if I like that. I don't know. I don't know about any of this stuff. Except for the liner. I'm not excited about this bag. I thought I would be excited. And then it has a card here that says Pretty in Paradise. And then it just tells you take a photo and all that stuff to share. And then it shows you the companies that um, participated. And the inside of the bag is red. I don't like this bag. And I will be giving that away. And the only thing that I'm really interested in is the liner really, but... I know I'm not going to really use this. Like, when am I going to use this? And then I'm a little disappointed about the packaging. Like, this is top right here. All of that right there is top. And this is a brow pencil. And I have brow pencils. And then I, this doesn't even say what it does. Like, what does this do? It's an oil, but what does it do? It says nourishing hair treatment with African mac macadamia oil. I can understand if it just said macadamia oil, then I'll be like, okay, it's it's an oil. I can seal with this. But it says with macadamia oil. It says it's a nourishing hair treatment. So what does it do? How does it nourish and treat? What does it nourish and what does it treat? And then this, I don't know, this is kind of light. This is kind of light. I don't know. I might give that away too. I'm not sure. And then this, I've never tried it, but I'll try it and then tell you guys how I like it. It's a really big sample, but I don't know anything about this company. So the things that I thought I would be excited about, I'm not really excited about. I will give this bag out of 10, my first Ipsy bag, I would give it... I don't know. Okay, it's five products here. How about out of five? Out of five, this don't get no point. This don't get no point. I'm iffy about this one. I'm iffy about this one. I'm iffy about this one. So I would, I would give them a three out of five. Or if you want to do it out of ten, I'll give them a six out of ten. Right? Yeah. I would get, no, I'm doing it out of five. Out of five, I give this a three out of five just because this is a really big sample and I would definitely try this, especially as a makeup remover instead of using all those makeup remover wipes that I have. This butter gloss is kind of light. Again, this is creme brulee and I would probably put this all over a nude lippy, but I don't know how it looks yet, so. And then I have an eyebrow pencil. I bought two from um, IMAX, and then I have one that I've been using, and then I have my e.l.f. eyebrow kit, so I don't know, and this color, like, when am I going to wear this, and I don't like the packaging, that's it, three out of five for that, and um, I got my InStyle uh, magazine today. And I don't know, maybe it's because I'm sick, but I wasn't excited about this either. Look at my girl. My fiance says that I look like her. I don't look like this girl. Um, but she's really, really pretty. This was the highlight of the whole damn um book. It was no styles in here that I would want to wear. Who's who the hell is wearing this? I don't know. Today was just a bleh day. But, um, I got the, um, Kelly Osborne Limited Edition MAC Lipstick in Kelly Yum Yum. And I was pretty excited about this because it's a little bit darker than Candy Yum Yum, which is permanent. And Candy Yum Yum 
is uh, matte and this is a satin and this is what it looks like oh well I'll show you the packaging packaging is really really cute my favorite color is purple so any shade of purple lilac anything like that is a plus for me and this is how the inside of it looks and then this is the color and I wore this with the Night Moth lip liner and it was the bomb. If you want to see that, um, I'll post pictures on my Instagram. I haven't posted pictures yet. Of course, I'm sick. Um, so yeah, I wore this and I loved it. It was beautiful. A very, very beautiful, beautiful, beautiful color. I would swatch it for you guys, but I'm not going to do that because I'm sick. Um, just check the pictures on my Instagram. But oh my god, when I tell you I wore it, I didn't even have it on for that long. I think I put it on like around maybe 9 o'clock p.m. And I had it on until like maybe midnight. And when I got home, I took it off, took all my makeup off. And that Kelly Yum Yum did not come off. Like, it was as if I just blotted my lips with a paper towel. It didn't come off at all. And then I was like, okay, whatever. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. I went to sleep, and when I woke up, she was still there. Like, it would not come off. It took... It didn't come off until... Like, maybe two... 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 Maybe three in the afternoon the next day good thing I was sick and in the house because I was just like what like if I go anywhere I will look like a damn clown it was bad it looked like um one of those uh what is that those 50 cent juices those little chubby drinks um big juice or whatever they call it it looked like I drank one of those and just had it all over my lips it was bad it was real bad but overall, I did like the color of this, but just be aware that if you do have this, you haven't worn it yet, your lips will be stained for like less than 12 hours, more than 12 hours. Yeah, like more than 12 hours, your lips will be stained with this. It was horrible. I could not believe it. So note to self and note to you guys wearing this, you might just have to, um, wear a pink lipstick or a red lipstick the next day to just cover up this color because it was bad but yeah that is my video for today ipsy um my first ipsy glam bag which wasn't impressing um my in styler magazine and my kelly yum yum mac kelly osborne collection lipstick um again if you want to see the kelly yum yum on or swatches of it or a swatch comparing it to candy yum yum i will have that all on my instagram and everything will be listed down below so my instagram twitter everything uh, will be listed down there also information about ipsy if you would like to purchase tomorrow i get my birch box so i will be posting a video about that if I feel good enough to um I guess that's it and the previous months I will probably be doing Ipsy versus Birchbox like everybody else um if you would like to see that but um yeah I haven't took a sneak peek at Birchbox either so hopefully it's good yeah, so I'm gonna go drink some tea and call my mama. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.